Um, and I'll, I'll say this, this is a, a, another kind of set point. Um, two people uh, were very opposed at, at the very get go for me. Uh, I don't say entertaining the conversations, but, but letting the, the conversations progress. Any guesses on who those two people were that they did not want me to proceed uh, with Anthem? Dixie Carter. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Conrad, you're in a good uh, match, too. I can say. No. Uh, Karen know. Jarrett. Yep. And uh, if I had to guess, Mr. Jerry Jarrett. No. So he was uh, just kind of see what happens, if, if no. you will, but we weren't uh, in, in, in lots of communication, but you know, some, uh, but Hermie Sadler. Wow. And I've always, uh, you know, he's been a long time friend, but Hermie has, you know, you know, a lot of folks know him as a, as a, uh, NASCAR driver and a Fox sports personality, but Hermie's a hell of a businessman. His father's a hell of a businessman. He's been around high level business in the world of NASCAR for years and years and years. So I always I have always respected his opinion. And he, uh, you know, as, as, as a couple of days and weeks went on, he reached out and he said, Hey man, can we have a conversation about something that you probably aren't going to like what I have to say? And I'm like, Oh boy, uh, where's this going? And he just kind of, I don't want to say laid into me, but he, he, he basically kind of laid out, you've been working your ass off in 2015 and 2016. And we know how, uh, cause Hermie was right there every step of the way, you know, he, we know how 2013 ended and how you were trying to just kind of find your way, man, you've come a long way and here you are under a holding agreement. Um, let that play out. Don't cloud the issue. Just, see what happens next. Uh, yeah. Concisely let it play out. 